Welcome to Stormwater Drainage Solutions. And in today's video, we're gonna be installing the FDM high octane corrugated system. But take a look at these tree roots that I had to cut through. It literally took me four hours to cut through a 10 foot section of trench because of these oak tree roots. Oak trees have one of the worst root systems imaginable. I had to keep running the sawzall down that trench to cut through these roots but I finally managed to get through it and we continued on trenching. Now, this system is gonna discharge onto the street curb via a pop-up emitter and it's gonna go underneath the sidewalk. Now, it is very important when you're digging your trench to install a corrugated system, you wanna make sure that that trench has fall. That pipe needs to have fall to it so that the turbulence running down those ridges on the inside of the pipe, can stir up debris and can move stuff through that system to be able to discharge it. Now, the other good thing about corrugated pipe is you can pull it through your trench and you can get it underneath or over obstacles like sprinkler lines. Now, this particular sprinkler line, we ran underneath it to keep our fall. Now, another important thing about corrugated pipe, you wanna make sure that you tile tape up any joints that you create like this Y fitting, for example. Now, notice I put some glue in the hub of that fitting before I started tile taping it. And no, that is not PVC glue. That is a special homemade HDPE glue that I make here in-house at home to act as a secondary defense against roots. Now, we're also gonna be installing the FDM leaf filter. Now, these leaf filters might be a little bit expensive, but they are worth it because not only does it stop debris from getting into your system, but it also acts as an access point so you can snake that system out, you can jet it, and they are vented. So it allows airflow through the system. Now, I'm going to be doing the exact same thing with all the hubs and the connections to this system. Because there are so many roots in this area, I want to do everything in my power to try to keep those roots out of this system because I don't care what kind of pipe you're using. Roots are the number one enemy to any drainage system. It doesn't matter if it's yard drainage systems or sanitary sewer systems. Roots always try to find their way in there to get the nutrients that sits at the bottom of the pipe and they feed off of that. So I'm using my homemade HDPE glue with root inhibitors in that to go ahead and coat the inside of those hubs and then I'm tile taping them up very, very well. Now, I'm gonna only do this with any joint that's in the ground, obviously, because that's where roots are gonna go. The dual wall riser that goes up to the leaf filter, we're just gonna put a couple of set screws in that to hold that in place while we bury everything up and compact the dirt back in, and that'll be good enough. All right, so we're gonna continue our way down, and notice every connection we make with a lateral, we use a Y connection. You don't wanna use T's. T's just slam water to a stop, whereas a Y will allow that water to make a smooth entry into your main line. Now, for our gutter downspouts, we're also gonna be putting a sediment trap on each one of them. That way, any roof shingle gravel that makes it into the system will fall down into that sediment trap and will not get into our main line. Now here at the discharge, we're gonna put pea stone and geofabric underneath our pop-up emitter. That way the water can leach out. But on our sediment traps in these areas here, we are not putting any holes at the bottom of the sediment trap. So there's gonna be no pea stone or geofabric. The reason we decided to do this is because this area has so much roots that if we were to put holes in the bottom of the sediment trap, the roots would just grow into it over time to feed off of any remaining water and nutrients that may sit in there. So it's best just to keep those sediment traps solid. Now, there's gonna be some water holding in those sediment traps, but I'm not worried about that because we are using solid lids for these sediment traps. Mosquitoes are not gonna be able to get in there. Frogs are not gonna be able to get in there. So we're not gonna even worry about that. It's just gonna be a little bit of water in each one of those sediment traps, not a big deal. Now, as you can see, we got our main line completely piped in. We got really good fall all the way down to the road, and we're gonna be using the French Drain Man's Not Quite a Nighty for our discharge end. I prefer this not quite a nighty over percolation tea because it still allows the water to leach out around the pipe. You just don't tile tape the end of that fitting. That is it. It will allow that water to slowly leach out into your bed of pea stone with your geofabric. 
So as you can see, we got the entire system completely buried up. We got the yard cleaned up. Our downspouts with our leaf filters are looking good. Got those roots out of there. That was an absolute nightmare. And we also went ahead and we put a four inch drain grate right below this channel drain. That way it can catch any water that's dumping out of that channel drain and it'll just fall right into our four inch drain. It'll be carried away off to the street and it'll no longer flood this area. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We also have some rain footage coming up on the end of this video. I was lucky enough to be out in this area when it started raining. So I drove over here and I caught this system working at the very end of a rainstorm and everything was functioning very, very nicely. So I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, this is SWDS signing off.